Hussmit, Bonnie Nelson. Hi, everybody. My name is Marcos, Marcos Cassiano. And I'm here to tell you about some of my tales from the road, some of my adventures that happen along the highways and byways of the U.S. and Canada, but uh, never Mexico. So uh, this little adventure has to do with, uh, I was up in Nashville one time, I was looking for extra work. Because uh, going into the, into the 90s, the, I think the mid to, to late 90s, uh, I, I was only pretty much working with, with bands on the weekends for a while. Um, a lot of the bands, a lot of the clubs that were going five nights were, were down to two. So, so I, I went to Nashville, I think on a Monday or Tuesday, I would go up there sometimes and kind of network, you know. So I, I contact this bass player friend of mine and uh, I tell him what I'm wanting to do and he says, well, I know this artist, her name is Bonnie Nelson. He said, I, I've worked with her a few times and I'll, I'll give you her phone number. Now, I don't remember if, if he gave her my phone number or what, but either way, we, I, I got in contact with her and she said, yeah, I'm going out on the road um, this weekend. And uh, if you meet me at the union, I'll, I'll give you my, my tapes and I got a video I, I want you to see. So I met her at the union. She gave me her the work tape. I think it was only 10 or 11 songs and uh, she gave me a video and she made it clear you know uh, I need for you to watch this video there's one song on it because there's like a, a little thing that you need to do and if you watch the video you'll understand better so it's just a little thing I had to come out from behind the drums do a little a little thing in front of the audience it was something very simple but at least I got to stand up and go out in front of the stage for 10 seconds so anyways um, I, I meet the bus, like, I, th I think when I met Bonnie, what might have been like a Wednesday, and I think like on a Friday, uh, we leave to go. I don't, I, don't, I don't actually remember on this particular date where we, day we were going. This was my first trip with her. So when I get to this parking lot in, in Nashville where, the, where her bus was parked, um, I remember the bass player showed up, this bass player, and I actually knew him. I had worked with him uh, like back in, the, back in the 80s. I had done some gigs with him, you know, so it was nice to see a familiar face and you know he, he he had worked with Bonnie off and on and you know he he really uh enjoyed working with her I remember the guitar player I, I got you know as I got to talking to him I can't remember his name uh but he was at the time working with uh, uh Leon Russell so I guess Leon was off that week so he went out with Bonnie so anyways as uh, we're going out of town I remember she stops at this place to to get some fireworks because she had this thing in her show at her last song was a song called in america it's a very patriotic song and as she's singing and and bl uh blasting out the last few words like in america the these like fireworks kind of like sparklers would go off because i remember the the bass player had to trip them and then they would go off it was it was very effective it was, was kind of interesting and then from there i remember we had to stop at a kroger's and uh from there we, she said okay everybody get you know your snacks your water whatever you need and she actually would rent some videos for us because she had a television on the bus and you know you can only watch so many movies anyways I, I don't remember how many videos that she would rent but it seemed like on the way back we weren't watching any videos so anyways another thing I remember was that her bus was like a 1959 1960 you know old Greyhound bus so the the bus was very heavy and I remember that when, on one particular trip, I don't know if it was his first one, but on one particular trip, you know, she's looking at the routing, but she, instead of going through West Virginia, which I think would have been closer, I think she goes around and goes through Virginia because she said, because of the hills and the mountains, we're talking about the Appalachian Mountains, um, the bus is just too heavy and it's just too cumbersome to go up and down all these hills. It would, it would like take too long and it, there's always a chance you can get stuck on a hill especially if something happens and you, if you have to stop suddenly she said the bus just won't take off on a hill which i understood later because when we get to this one gig i remember it was like in wisconsin uh the school because we played a lot of schools these little like uh like civic centers and, and theaters is where we, we, we were, is where we played but i remember this one school in particular was up on a hill and at the very bottom of the hill she stops i remember the bass player gets out he, he didn't even have to be told to get out he knew the routine so he goes to the top of the hill make sure there's no traffic coming then he signals for bonnie to come and then we zoom up because 
what she told me was she can't stop on the hill because she does she would have to back all the way down because the bus was so heavy because when the bus was built it was built really well and it had a lot of heavy wood in it it wasn't like plastic or other material that that's lighter i think they make the new buses and stuff with lighter materials but uh, on this bus i remember all the cabinets and stuff you know were custom made and they were uh, made out of wood so she just said you know uh, well, i can't make it up the hill so <clears throat> one thing that bonnie liked to do is she liked to uh, showcase the band meaning you know like okay she would give everybody a little spot in the show to to sing you know the bass player would sing a song the keyboard player would sing a song the keyboard player i mean excuse me the guitar player would do something so when it came time to my my so when it came to my turn i'm like yeah i, I can sing a song i think i know one song she so goes no i i i want you to play wipeout i said uh, oh okay are you sure i can sing and she said no i want you to play wipeout so the thing i remember in particular was that with bonnie I had to play very quietly, you know, re really soft. And I actually had these um, uh, sticks. They were made out of maple, and they were actually designed for playing softer. I would use them when I would play jazz because with jazz, I, I had to use a lighter touch. As a matter of fact, I remember that I, I could play so soft that when I'm doing Wipeout, the, the guitar player and the bass player, they're leaning, they're leaning over, and they're trying to hear to see if uh, they can hear me because I'm playing, you know, whatever, you know, Wipeout. Everybody knows Wipeout. But I'm playing it real soft, you know. So they were like actually pretty amazed that I could uh, pl play that soft. And I said, well, you know, it just takes practice, you know. So another thing I remember that I, I liked about uh, Bonnie was that she provided outfits for us. So when I l would leave to go on the road with her, I just had to take, you know, just like a change of clothes. I didn't have to take anything for the stage. Because she had these Western outfits complete with cowboy boots for us to wear. And I remember... Um, it was like, I think, the first and only time as an adult that I uh, actually wore ca 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 cowboy boots. Another thing I remember about her on one particular gig was on the highways and byways that one time, it's like a, like a raining in Nashville. It's one of those, uh, not, not quite sleep, but it's like rain mixed with snow. And, and, and as we leave Nashville, as we start heading north, well, now it's just pure snow. I remember the highway's just covered in snow, and I'm like thinking, man, she's going to turn back. We're going to cancel. But she just, she just kept on trucking. I mean, she was just uh, nothing would stop her from getting to a gig. And later, I kind of find out part part of it was that, uh, you know, she was raised, I think, on a ranch in Colorado, so she was used to driving tractors and trucks like that. So, you know, it snows a lot in Colorado. So a little bit of snow on the highway. Well, it wasn't a little bit for me. Uh, wouldn't stop her. It wouldn't deter. Wouldn't de deter her from canceling a gig. So uh, another thing I always remember was after every gig, and this was the only complaint some of the other guys would have was, after we'd get done with a gig, um, we would pack up, of course. But on a lot of the gigs, rooms were provided for us, but but we would would never use them. We would just use them like earlier in the day. You know, after we set up, we'd go back. We'd take a shower. We'd put on our outfits that she provided but she would never uh want want to spend the night and it was like well that's that's kind of strange and the bass player said yeah she, she never wants to stop she wants just to keep keep on trucking back but the thing about that was we'd only get about 100 miles down the road and she would be tired because she did all the driving and she would pull pull over and you know uh prepare the bus for for the night and made sure we all had a blanket and we were warm and we'd go to bed and you know, get up, and one thing nice about being on a bus was that you can get up and make you a cup of coffee, and you keep keep on going. So I remember the last gig that I, I did was Bonnie was uh, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and by this time, I, I believe that you know uh, God had really been dealing with her because a lot of times we would have conversations about the Lord, about the Bible, and things like that. So I think she was getting more, more, and more interested. In church and 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 in growing her Christian life, and I think the attraction of playing these shows was, you know, it was no longer any any more fun fun for her. It wasn't fun anymore. She was really wanting to get more serious about studying the Bible and getting more involved in church. So that w that was good because her faith was growing. And like I said, by this time, uh, she she just didn't want to perform anymore. 
But anyways, that was my experience with uh, Bonnie Nelson. Wherever you're at, I hope you're doing well. She was a lot of fun to work with, and uh, I have no complaints. All right, more later in the next video, and God bless everybody. Bye-bye.